What's up guys, good morning. I know a lot of you um, watch this channel, watch me on how to get involved in car hauling, specifically in Clint's Bay, but it's this way. And uh, I tell you all these things, how you can make lots and lots of money car hauling, but maybe you can't, maybe you can't. And here's why, we're gonna talk about it in the video, right? It has to do with Um, the Russians. <laughs> Why are you laughing? It has to do with Russians, uh, maybe some Ukrainians, maybe Bulgarians, but it's not a laughing matter now about every other car hauler you see at the truck stop is like a two car enclosed guy, and it's some fresh off the boat guy that just doesn't want to go back to Russia or Ukraine or even Kazakhstan just because of what's going on there with political stuff. And you're thinking, no wonder my dispatcher is doing a bad job finding me a load because they can provide a faster service. They can say, yeah, I'll do three triple all-nighters to haul a car just so I don't have to go back to Ukraine and dig trenches for a war or something like that. So, uh, yeah, so they'll get the car delivered overnight shipping and they'll do it at a discount rate too. They'll even do it with no insurance and make fake information that they do have insurance They'll go through so many uncalled for and unlawful steps. Not just for the money, but just for the opportunity. Well, look at that. See, a military vehicle right behind us. There we go. <laughs> Maybe they're preparing for the war. Maybe that guy wants to skimp out and go car hauling instead. So yeah, you, that's what's, uh, I, I seriously think that's becoming an issue now because a lot of Russians have, you guys message me every now and then and I keep this channel English and you wanna know about car hauling. And, Sometimes I get Russians messaging me. Now, a little bit more. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, cool. Way to go, good for them. Good for their American dream. You know, cool. You know, I came from Soviet Russia 30 years ago and, you know, here I am living my American dream. So, so can you. But now, okay, let me just tell you the seriousness, the, the, um, uh, the, the, the power of what's happening. Uh, they are, they are, uh, this draft for war in Russia right now is uh, the third time in Russia's history that they're doing a draft. First time was World War One, then World War Two, and now did somebody mention possibly World War Three coming? Some rumors have been talking about that, so it's really weird. Look at this background, huh? Maybe I shouldn't be back here, but it's kind of a cool background. We're at where are we? Shoe shoemaker truck stop in Lincoln, Nebraska. So really, um real big you know before it, it, there were some rumors of world war three and now it's like oh well these are pretty interesting rumors so uh yeah who else mentioned rumors of war you know revelation dad read revelation the last book in the bible and it says 
Christ will come at this time. And what time is that? And it said, when there's rumors of wars and, uh, and some other stuff happening. So, um, not good. God help us. I'm kind of scared. You know, I'm like, you know, I think it's time to panic now. So, uh, yeah. That's my message. Um, not a really good one. Or, or maybe it is good. I don't know. Should we be helping the, the new fresh off the boat people get into car hauling? I am... Um, I help uh, everybody equally treat them like garbage, you know, so. <laughs> I don't know. Yesterday, yesterday, uh, I... Tola called me yesterday. He's like, Serge, I can't believe this craziness. I was like, what's going on, Tola? He said, uh, do, do the police me mistreat you guys so much like this in car hauling? I was like, what happened? You finally got your first DOT inspection and you got six tickets? He goes, no, um, I got pulled over after passing three pickup trucks that were pulled over. And um, pickup trucks uh, hauling loads, you know? I got pulled over and the guy said his partner, his colleague, seen me on the phone. He said, well, if you'd like to see my call log and my text log, you can see that I wasn't on the phone. So, um, the guy said, okay, you're not on the phone. He says, well, I'm a DOT inspector officer. I'm going to DOT inspect you. He uh, inspected the truck and trailer and said, no violations found there. Here's two tickets for phone violation. He goes, you just told me that your colleague seen me and uh, I showed you that I wasn't on the phone. I said, well, explain that to the judge. So Tola's like unhappy. I said, Serge, this is kind of like discrimination. Maybe, maybe it is, you know. Uh, and yeah, this was in like Georgia, he says. So, it's not easy, you know. It's, it's not easy for a uh, Ukrainian like Tola just trying to make it. And uh, I'm glad to be friends with him. And I told him, hey, I'll be your friend as long as you keep the mayonnaise and condensed milk out of our friendship. And he says, yeah, okay. <laughs> So, um, so there's like that part of the situation too. Um, trying to think where, where, uh, this is all headed and how to make sense out of all of this. I mean, it, like, let me also tell you yesterday, Dennis, the guy I went pad go paddle boarding with and we went out to the sea in the paddleboard four miles out to the ocean and came back. Well, Dennis is getting into car hauling. Dennis is not fresh off the boat. He's been here for like six, seven years and he's got a good job, but he's like, man, all these Russians and Ukrainians talking about car hauling, maybe I should be car hauling. So I referred Truck Lenders USA to him and he's trying to finance two, three trucks. So yeah, um, I, I feel like having a meeting with Dennis. Next time we go paddle boarding, I'll be, tell him, Dennis, don't quit your day job. Stay where you are. You're going to have situations where you realize this was a bad idea. You'll be in situations like Tola got in right now. Don't quit your day job. Uh, Tole just has no choice, you know. Well, uh, 
these fresh off the boat people, they have no choice but to do whatever makes them their first green American dollar. So, I don't know, that's the situation. Uh, if you know any answers or have any thoughts, ideas regarding these things, where things could be headed or solutions, comment below. Let's talk about it.